Hey, it's Mabel. Yeah. Hey, it's Mobile World Congress time, and uh, you know what that means? Tablets and smartphones, like all over the place. And I think the biggest news, really, that's come out of this is Microsoft has released the consumer preview of Windows 8, and it's got quite a few changes. I know I talk about Windows 8 seemingly all the time now. That's just because it's in my opinion, a major play by Microsoft. And I don't think too many would disagree with that. Uh, we've seen it uh, on desktop, ta laptop, and tablets so far, and it's shaping up to be a very interesting experience. Uh, the Verge has an excellent hands-on preview of it. Of course, you can go download it right now. It was actually released yesterday as of recording. Uh, and it's great. I hope to get my hands on it pretty soon. But, uh, you know, we'll see. It showed off a completely new way of using Windows, I think. Uh, and it's, from what I'm hearing, there's a few things that are a little weird. It's a little wonky uh, using a mouse and keyboard still. But, uh, you know, I think with time it'll get better. I mean, this is still the consumer preview. It's not the final release. And... You know, who knows, that might, this might be the way we just, in a couple years down the road, the way we think of Windows, the way we interact with it. So, yeah. But, in other news, Mobile Congress, uh, is that, well, HTC and LG are back. I mean, HTC been around. I mean, LG was gone for a while. They... They made the Optimus line, and then they just kind of pff, died off. But they are back, and they're trying to make some pretty impressive hardware. We'll see. I'm skeptical still. But HTC is back, showing off some really interesting stuff. Uh, and I'm excited. I always loved HTC hardware. I love Android as a platform. I love the promise of it. So we'll see what's going, what's going to happen with that. When it comes to phones, the, the showstopper is what Mozilla is doing with their with their platform, their boot Android that boots to it's Android. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's something. It's some version of Linux. It boots to Gecko. And there is no other uh, software. There's no other I mean by software I mean native software. Everything is rendered in the Gecko browser. Everything. The lock screen is all HTML5 uh, rendered in the browser. The apps, the dialer for the phone, the SMS app, everything. They're showing a very, very rough alpha build. This is not a product that's going to be releasing anytime soon. They're just showing off like, hey, we built this. This is cool. Okay, try it out. And I'm really kind of excited to see what's going to happen. Uh, and it doesn't require an internet connection to be on all the time. Of course, a lot of your apps will need it uh, to work because it's essentially everything is a web page. But there, many of the core stuff will be able to store uh, locally and you'll be able to run them offline much like you can do Google Docs or Gmail offline uh, now with HTML5. So it, it's very interesting. You should definitely check it out. I'm going to put, put a picture up. You'll see it. Hopefully you should be seeing it right now. Um, but check out, there's some video online of it. It's really, really interesting. Andy Rubin is saying that 2012, they're going to really double down on Android tablets. I don't, I don't know how much you've used an Android tablet, but they are god-awful. I mean, as, unless you're getting one that's heavily thin, like a Barnes & Noble Nook or uh, an Amazon Kindle, uh, you're pretty much your best bet, in my opinion, is an iPad. Um, I got the original. It still holds up against pretty much anything, uh, but it's just not a very good experience uh, with Honeycomb and Ice Cream Sandwich fixes a lot of that, but the software is abysmal, and I'm talking about third-party software. It's just abysmal. Hopefully it'll get better as we see Ice Cream Sandwich get adopted more. Those apps, will, if they're designed properly and follow Google's guidelines, should be able to switch over into a tablet mode that's very 
very good and makes a lot of sense and it's not just the app blown up or pixel doubled or whatever nonsense uh, that they're doing. So we'll, we'll see. I, if Android says they're going to double down, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do because there's a lot of promise for Android in a tablet, uh, especially with how much integration they're doing with USB peripherals like game pads and uh, keyboards and docks and everything. There's a lot more there's a lot of things that look like they show a real promise for the future as having a tablet as your computer, not just your luxury extra device. Nokia showed off a phone with a 41 megapixel camera. Uh, Samsung, Samsung's just putting stylus, the S Pen, the stylus with everything. Every, everything that that's just the way they want you to interact with things. But coming up next week. Uh, not not to steal uh, MWC's thunder is going to be Apple's iPad 3 event. I believe it's the 7th. So that's going to be exciting. Uh, it looks like they're going to, because the, was it the, the tagline was like, we can't wait to show you or you'll see something. Um, where the hell is it? I'll find it. I can't find it. It's somewhere there. It's out there. iPad 3. Uh, it's going to have... It looks like it's going to have a retina display, uh, which is going to be exciting. I mean, when I saw the retina display the first time on the iPhone 4, I was blown away. It really just makes everything look so much nicer and so much better. And to have that on like a display this big is going to be freaking phenomenal. Uh, but you know they're not just going to release an iPad 2 with a high-res display. It's going to be something nuts. There's going to be some crazy new feature that's just going to blow everyone away. And I can't wait to see what that is. I also can't wait to see uh, the OS that's going to be on it. Like, obviously, it's going to be iOS 5, but it's going to be... It's going to have some hints at what the next major revision of iOS is going to have. And that that I'm really excited to see that as well. Uh, but, you know, that's for next week. Obviously, you'll see it. I'll be here. I'll be talking about it. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that's pretty much all I got uh, on MWC. Go go online. Read everything you can about it. Tons of information. More, more information that could possibly be contained uh, in, in any program, even if it ran 24 hours. is too much. Uh, so go check it out. In the meantime, I got to get going. Uh, so I will see you guys later.